Well, hello, and good morning to you. Good afternoon to me. <laughs> it's Thursday, December 10th, and I'm cleaning, in the middle of cleaning. Actually, no, not even in the middle of, just starting to clean. And I thought I'd go ahead and pick up the camera because I'm feeling, feeling a little bit chatty today. Got some stuff I wanna do around the house. But you know, uh, we had some pretty crazy like thunderstorms, really cold weather. I say that, I, I can't even say it's cold here having been in Canada in the winter time, right? Canadians really know like what cold weather actually is. Um, anyways, but we've had some cooler weather. So it's gotten into, you know, the 30s and the 40s, which is, which is a bit chilly and it's been raining. And so my sweet, sweet Denali has just been tracking in the mud and, and the paw prints and all that and I love her so I let her do it but we had a, a dreary streak for about a week straight and so for that entire week I didn't clean and I clean every week on Saturdays but today's Thursday and I'm cleaning today because um my house is gross like it probably looks it probably looks real nice let's just show you let's just show you some things shall we okay so we just have like crumbs. I have laundry that I have not hung up, laundry that I have not folded. There's just, it's just dirty and there's little fuzzies everywhere because she's shedding. That was like such a long winded way of me saying, welcome to the vlog and we're opening with some cleaning B-roll. What I did want to say is that I woke up this morning though and when I checked Instagram, Taylor Swift's post was the first one that popped up on my feed about her dropping another album this year. From what I understand, it's like a continuation of folklore, so it's called Evermore. And I'm not gonna lie, I, I like screamed a little bit when, when I woke up this morning. I was really, really excited, so. Why is that blinking like that? Does anyone else see that? Okay, it's not doing it when I turn around, but it's doing it in the camera. Hello? We're just gonna go like this. Okay, that's cool. Not afraid, actually, I think that's, that's really awesome. Whoever's here, as long as you are of love and light and pure heart, you are more than welcome here. And thanks, thanks for coming to help me clean and listen to some Taylor Swift. Anyways, the Long Pond Studio session Thing just went up on Disney Plus not too long ago. I'm not gonna lie, I've already watched it. I moved my piano into my bedroom and I was super inspired even though I still really don't know how to play piano, but I was like, I'm gonna write my own song. Also, I can't sing. So there's, <laughs> there's a lot of factors there, but I was like, you know what? We're just being creative and having fun just to have fun because why not? So anyways, tangents, right? But I'm going to actually listen to Folklore by watching the Long Pond studio sessions because I have Disney Plus. So that way I have like some nice, a nice aesthetic going on in the background and then I can also listen to the entire Folklore album. This is genius. I'm so happy I decided to vlog today. <laughs> Colleen Hoover just got here. You guys, I this book just came out on Tuesday. What was that, December 8th? Obviously, I pre-ordered it. <laughs> I am obsessed with Colleen Hoover, and this is actually a psychic thriller. 
so that's right up my alley and it just got here that's why i was like pause everything wait i really want to stop everything i'm doing and just read but you know what i'm not going to do that and i'm going to be patient but I don't know. There could be a readathon vlog coming your way because December is just one of those months where there's just not that much going on. It's 4:21 and the sun is already starting to go down. And one of the things I wanted to do for this vlog, while there is still some sunlight, <laughs> is to redecorate my office for more of like a whole Christmas holiday vibe. So this is one of the first things that I got. It's a cute little like door knocker with bells. I They were a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So I bought like <laughs> not 10 of them, maybe seven though. I probably bought, I have a lot of doors in this house. The dryer is really annoying me. So I'm just gonna shut that. But last night, do we see these? I went to Hobby Lobby. I've been calling these dobbles. I don't know why, but it's, I don't know. It goes all the way down. So it's like garland, but it's foofy, foofy garland, right? But, oh my gosh, you guys, my office is such a mess. took a shower <laughs> but I did not I did not get ready so earlier this year in January 2020 I held a planning workshop for the new year for the own your thrive attendees and in case you don't know own your thrive was a women's conference that I was planning to throw in May of 2020 that then got you know obviously didn't happen because of the pandemic and so pushed it to September that didn't happen either and so now it's just been postponed indefinitely but that planning workshop was exclusive to own your thrive attendees and i was really thinking i have been thinking over this month how the heck are we supposed to plan for 2021 like how <laughs> how do you plan for the new year after a year like this and what's so interesting is like call it intuition or something but this planning workshop that I held for them has mostly stayed exactly the same I've added a few things into the the workshop and the workbook to kind of I don't know be able to recap 2020 in a way where it doesn't feel like it was such a dumpster fire of a year because I've actually found as I've started the reflection process because reflection is huge and especially in a year like this um, i always have three parts to my my planning process for the new year so i have reflection and then the second part is ideal outlook and then the third part is future planning so what i decided to do was launch this planning workshop for anyone who wants to take it so again, I added a few things into this workbook that is, you know, it's different than what the Own Your Thrive attendees, the workbook that they got, because obviously 2020 was a very unique, <laughs> very unique year. But if you're in that position where you're like, I don't know how to plan for the new year, I don't know, like if you've just kind of felt very directionless and aimless and just sort of like you've been floating this year you're not the only one i've definitely felt like that probably more often than not but i also look over this year at the things that i was able to i don't want to use the word accomplish because that's not the right word but at the art that i was able to create and the types of the type of art that i created i i did some very different things this year that I'll be talking more about in 2021 that I don't know I don't know if I would have explored that otherwise because I had my head so like I had my head down and it was so like in 
the mechanics of my business that I kind of forgot about the creation aspect of it and why I love creating, why I love making art. And it's just like what Taylor Taylor Swift said in the Long Pond Studio sessions was that you know her album Folklore and also Evermore was born out of isolation. And she was saying for her it's either like you you just kind of go like okay, well this year was just this year or you just you keep creating because it's it's what you do and it's it feels good. And honestly, Folklore, I will say this hands down, is my favorite album of hers. Favorite, favorite album of hers. I could listen to it and have listened to it on repeat this entire year. And I'm sure Evermore, the sister album to Folklore, is going to be like no different. I'm probably gonna love that one equally as much as I love Folklore. But it just got me thinking about this year and how, thank God for art, ugh. Th really, I want you to think about that. Thank God for the people who create, for the people who continue to create over this year, even when their lives were in complete turmoil and chaos surrounded them. And <laughs> there was just so much uncertainty, right? We're all going through this together. And yet there are some people who chose to continue onward, to just keep going and to make shitty art if it was shitty art or to make really good art or i mean both of those those terms are subjective right but just to create just to make art just to make something just to to do to do something to express whatever was going on in here like up here and in here to express that externally through some kind of an art form. And so I just want you to think about all of the books that you've read this year, all of the movies that you've watched, the shows, the comedians, you know, the stand-ups, the subscription boxes you got maybe for, for meal planning or meal prepping. Like all of these are creations by individuals who cared enough to keep, to keep going and to keep making things work even when things were so so uncertain and to believe in themselves and their art so much that not even something like a pandemic could shake them that is the most beautiful thing about the human spirit and all of us together is just how freaking resilient we are we are so resilient so anyways that was quite the <laughs> a podcast episode in the middle of my YouTube video. But you know what? We're just changing things up right now. Anyways, so what this planning workshop is essentially, it's not it's not for the person who's like, I'm going to set all my goals and I'm going to crush it. So like there is that's not what the focus of this is. It's equal parts masculine and feminine energy because as someone who grew up in a very masculine energy environment, very type A, very goal oriented, accomplishment driven, success driven. That just leads to burnout. Like you guys know this, you know this whole story. So I created this planning workshop as a way to hopefully help, to hopefully help you in that area. If you feel like you're also very masculine oriented and you're just kind of like, I don't, I don't know what to do because everything has changed. Um, I feel ya, I'm right there with you. And also if you're in the more like feminine energy side of things where you're like, I've just been all up in my feels this whole year and like, I don't know what to do next. Like it's a good balance. It's a good balance for both. So anywho, this is a 15 page workbook. The workshop itself is a video where it's like this, where I'm talking the entire time and going through the workbook. It's an hour long. It's an hour long, so it's a very in-depth workshop, but I hope that it gives you, if anything, I hope it gives you a glimmer of hope on the other side of all of this and that you you get excited for next year. You know, like, I, I don't know. I feel like so many people are probably thinking that 2021 is just gonna be a repeat of 2020 or that it's somehow going to get worse and like, it could, you know, but that's all subjective. And 
what you choose to do with your time is is completely up to you so you can go to thatsmarthustle.com slash planning if you want to go ahead and enroll in this workshop. So you'll get the 15 page workbook as well as the access to the 60 minute workshop video. And I originally had this priced at $55, but I was like, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna slash that in half. So it's just 27 bucks, 27 bucks to plan out, to plan out next year after a year that has been wildly uncertain and a pretty crazy roller coaster ride. So I will leave that link in the description box below for you. Again, it's thatsmarthustle.com slash planning. And I'd love for you to tag me on Instagram during your planning process. I love, I love seeing pictures and just posts and things like that when you guys tag me when you're, you know, doing one of my courses or programs or challenges or whatever it might be it just it makes me so happy and it makes it makes getting on social media more fun <laughs> for me because lately it has been super draining so Shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are Something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are If 
what we're doing is bad There's so many emotions Sharing stories that we never had yet None is real I think we're searching for reasons Not to be like them Damn. We fly around like paper planes They never know where we will fall Nobody can see us Still they wanna tear us apart There's something different about the way we are Number 10, track 10, IB, might be my favorite, but I don't want to say that yet because I still have five more songs. But it's really good. Oh, here you are, face to face in this trashy bar. Another glass and I am going places, makes me laugh about the irony. That was Marjorie. That one really spoke to me a lot. <laughs> featuring Body Bear, which Exile was my favorite. Oh no, oh no. There's some stains on your photo. They all cracks on your rusty frame. Stuck in the mud But it's so loved all these songs. I will say with folklore, 
when I heard Exile, I played it over and over and over again, and it made me cry. And actually still when I hear it, it still makes me cry. Very emotional song for me, right? I really loved all these songs. I loved how unique track 14 closure was. It was so different from anything she's ever done. Um, so that was really unique. I was like, wow, this is different. I really liked track 10, Ivy. That one I just, I connected with it. Um, it was a little bit upbeat kind of, but also not at the same time. So I really liked that one. I loved the duet track nine, Cody Island featuring The National. I also felt really connected to track 13, Marjorie. Of all the slower, the slower tracks and more emotional tracks, that was the one that probably got me closest to tears, closest to crying. And then man, that last track, really loved track 15, Evermore, which is no surprise because I loved Exile on the Folklore album. I think what I loved so much about Evermore was just the change in tempo all of a sudden with the piano. Like, it's so slow and beautiful. I, oh, the piano was just everything in the beginning. And then it sped up and then the duet part of it came in and, or he came in and it was just faster tempo and so unexpected. I was like, oh, okay. So just, I don't know, hearing that for the first time, I really liked it. It was very different and the notes the notes that they were hitting oh my gosh i'm just like i didn't even know that that our voices could go that high i'm like sweating i'm sweating right now because this is just a lot that's a lot anyways um wow okay so obviously i knew it was going to be worth staying up for but it is midnight now so i am going to sign off here really pleased with Evermore, the album, really pleased with Folklore. I'm excited to keep listening to both of these albums just to kind of close out the rest of the year. And I know I will be listening to them in 2021 as well. So if you are also a Taylor Swift fan or you've recently listened to Folklore or Evermore, I would love to know what tracks really spoke to you, which ones Hi, Lacey. Lacey says, hello. <laughs> Which ones really spoke to you? I would love to know that. So my, my wine mouth is so bad. I need to go brush my teeth. But don't forget to check out the description box below because again, my planning workshop is, that link is down there. You can also go to thatsmarthustle.com slash planning. I think I poured myself a bit too hefty of a glass of wine because I, I don't think I'm gonna finish it. I'll just pour it back into the bottle. I'm the only one drinking out of it anyways. <laughs> oh, with that being said, I'm going to I'm going to go re-listen to a couple of these tracks that really resonated with me and um Yeah, I just want to hear them again. But it was really cool to share this moment with you. Just, you know, first reaction listening to an artist that I really admire. And again, I'm just so grateful for art and artists and creators. So, love you all so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye. But before we go, here's some footage of my cat. Wait for it. Oh. Good job. You look possessed. Possessed cat. Okay, bye for real.